everyone. I am Himani, one of the community experts at TrueLink. TrueLink is a home away from home for IMGs. It is a peer-to-peer -peer support platform that provides accurate information, access to mentors and service providers. I am here today to speak to you about the MRCS Part A and how to prepare for it. I am a surgical SHO in the Bart's Health NHS Trust in London and had taken the MRCS Part A in January 2021. I'd like to share some of my personal experiences as I take you through this talk on the MRCS Part A. For those wondering what the MRCS Part A is, it is the membership of the Royal College of Surgeons exam and is a two-part exam, the first being a theory-based exam and the second a practical exam. The MRCS Part A is one of the two exams that is required to seek the GMC registration. It is an alternate route to the PLAP pathway. It is also essential for a prospective surgical aspirant to progress in their surgical career. It scores four points on the course surgical training application and in the latest guidance, there are no points given for someone who is attempting the exam and failing at it. So it is quite beneficial for a candidate to know how to best prepare for this exam so that they pass it in their very first attempt. The Royal Colleges have announced that this year they are going to be conducting this exam on the 10th of May and the 13th of September. The bookings are now available for the May attempt and can be made online on the RCS England or Edinburgh websites, which are two of the popular websites that are used for booking your place. Once you log on to the website, you might want to create an account for yourself, book your place and make the payment. You should then receive an email confirmation uh, stating that you are required to submit a copy of your degree certificate that has been authenticated by either the department head or the dean of your institution and once this document has been verified by the Royal Colleges they shall confirm your place on the exam. So now that you have your place on the exam you might want to acquaint yourself with the format of this exam. The MRCS Part A is a two paper exam. The first paper is the Applied Basic Sciences paper that uh, assesses your knowledge of anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, pathology and microbiology. It comprises of 180 questions that you get to answer in three hours. So in a sense you have a minute to answer each question. The second paper in the exam is the principles of surgery in general which assesses your knowledge of common surgical conditions, perioperative management as well as trauma. It comprises of 120 questions that you answer in two hours. This exam has been delivered on the online platform from September 2020. There were in initially some technical glitches that occurred in the September 2020 attempt and the feedback received then has helped improve the exam drastically. And when I sat this exam in January, the exam was conducted in a very straightforward manner and I did not face any technical issues. The exam was delivered on the exam soft platform or the exemplify platform which is an online proctoring software and the royal colleges send you information about this software about a fortnight in advance they give you an opportunity to download it onto the computer that you will be using or the laptop that you will be using for the exam it will also give you an opportunity to test the different features and whether the application is running smoothly in the absence of Wi-Fi. Essentially, the question papers for the exam are downloaded by the software in advance and your access to Wi-Fi is cut off through the exam to prevent any sort of uh, unfair means being used to answer questions. You might also be asked to retain a proof of identification for the exam so it would be wise to read all the instructions that accompany uh, this email that would be sent out to you about a week or two before the exam. Um, I'm, I was required to keep my passport and also to make sure that the room that I was sitting the exam in was prepared for the exam. That is to say it was empty, there was no one in the room. It was quiet throughout because you are recorded throughout while you're answering the questions. 
the online proctoring software has a mechanism of checking eye movement so any sort of suspicious activity is recorded and uh, the candidate is then marked on that basis how much of a duration is required to prepare for this exam from personal experience i can say that for someone who sat the exam the first time a 3 to 4 month duration to prepare for the exam was good enough this comprised of three complete revisions of the emrcs question bank which is the go to resource for most mrcs a aspirants the emrcs question bank prepares you adequately to answer the paper 1 questions it is extensive uh, in terms of the applied basic sciences section however i did feel that it lacked in preparing me adequately for the uh, paper 2 which was the principles of surgery in general i personally did not use any other resource apart from the emrcs but it is recommended that one also uh, takes a, a pass test subscription to supplement their understanding of the paper 2 apart from this as the date of the exam neared i also brushed through the fosia recalls which are available on the telegram study groups and the facebook study groups that are created fosia recalls are about 100 to 150 questions that frequently recur in the mrcs part a they are popular topics so the high yield topics that are usually tested that that candidates are usually tested on other recommended resources are the raftery videos mrcs sala notes as well as going through the pro sections which are the image for the image based questions going through the pro sections in the standard anatomy atlases like netters some do recommend that you brush up certain topics the more popular topics from bailey and love if you find yourself short on time please make sure that you at least go through the emrcs question bank three times over now to share my personal experience of preparing for this exam i began studying for this exam in late october and i had booked myself in for the january 12th attempt i went through the emrcs question bank as best as i could while paying special attention to the detailed um, explanation that followed each question i made my own notes and took note of the important points that i would go through prior to the exam or that would be used during my revision i had the advantage of having a study buddy much before i began my own preparation for the exam uh, my study buddy had taken the exam in September 2020 and so the both of us had revised dry subjects like anatomy together we would select organ systems to cover in a particular day and revise the theoretical aspects of anatomy and physiology together and then do the relevant mcqs this not only reinforced the knowledge but helped us come up with some sort of a memory aid or um, a mnemonic that would help us remember things better doing group study if that is your thing it is recommended to help you better prepare for certain otherwise dull topics having begun in october i managed to complete my three readings a fortnight before the exam and thereafter i just went through the fosia recalls took a look at the pro sections which are the image based questions uh, they are usually specimen dissected specimen that are then subsequently labeled and you may be asked what the particular labeled muscle or nerve or structure shown is so one must be prepared to identify uh, structures in the pro section and it helps to go through netters atlas for that you may or may not choose to go through the atls manual to better prepare yourself for the trauma section of the paper it also helps to be aware of a uh, certain popular topics such as the enhanced recovery after surgery principles the principles surrounding suturing techniques different sorts of suture materials and their properties as well as basic understanding of orthopedic emergencies and orthopedic conditions In the run up to the exam it is wise to set up the room in which you will be taking the exam as well as the device on which you intend to take it so that it avoids any last minute hassle and stress that you might experience if things are not set up in time also keep your id proof ready by your side on the desk that you will be taking this exam on and 
please ensure that there is no study material in view within the room prior to the exam. My top tips for the exam would be to ensure adequate and timely preparation, preferably with the assistance of a study buddy. Making sure that your room is set up, you have your ID proof by your side and that your device is set up for the exam in time so that you avoid any last minute hassle and stress. Staying calm on the day and through the exam while remembering that you have a minute to answer each question and that there is no negative marking. So safe in that knowledge, you can go ahead with what seems most appropriate to you than leaving the question unanswered. Please refrain from thinking about the statistics associated with the exam, such as the pass rate and the cutoff, as this is something that is beyond your control and changes from year to year. All that is in your hands is to give it your best shot. So all the best for your exam. And if this video has been useful to you at all, please do like, share and subscribe to TrueLink.